As the new governor and state legislature head back to Raleigh, we can expect a major tax overhaul. News 13's Russ Bowen joins us with tonight's reality check. Russ, one industry in particular is hoping they will not be ignored. Pat McCrory has promised to create a more business-friendly state, and the film industry wants to be part of that equation. Filmed in Western North Carolina, The Hunger Games went on to become one of this year's top grossing movies. Last March, the film's location scouts walked us through filming locations and anticipated the upcoming sequel filming in North Carolina as well. It's hugely disappointing. Catching Fire ended up filming largely in Georgia due to better tax incentives. You know, it hurts. It hurts those of us who live here, who work in the industry. Catching Fire is just one example of movies that didn't get shot here. North Carolina offers a 25% refundable tax credit it, while Georgia's is 30 percent. Five percent of millions of dollars is a lot of money. So if they can get the same locations in Georgia that they can get in North Carolina, they're going to go for the five percent extra. So it, it has swayed many films away from our state and gone to states that were offering more money. We have 25 percent right now. We have states doing 30, 35 percent. We need to look at it because you got to remember it's an investment. So it's a return on our money. State Senator Tom Apodaca recognizes the urgency. We know the importance of it, and we definitely are looking at that, and we don't want to run it off. We definitely want the business. He says the current film incentive is on the table with the state's overhaul of the tax code. I think they need to look at how much we're losing over the last few years, and I think they need to be aggressive in at least matching other states in incentives, if not surpassing, and just being there and being available to, to say, hey, filmmaker, what do you need? What can we do to get you here in North Carolina? Lack of current flexibility is also an issue. Apodaca says that could be discussed. You know, if they're going to bring a package of films here, just like a company coming in and say they want to bring two or three factories, something along the same line, yes, I definitely think that's something that could be looked at. The Hunger Games pumped more than $60 million into the local economy. Every dollar spent by a film company is multiplied seven times. It adds to the allure of North Carolina. It adds to the income of North Carolina. It creates jobs in North Carolina. It creates tax base in North Carolina. And over the last five years, the film industry has spent more than $625 million in North Carolina, and no one wants to see that trend decrease. The governor-elect's office has not responded yet to our request for comment. Now, if you have an idea for Reality Check, email it to realitycheck at WLOS.com.